I want to show y'all how beautiful it is out here this morning. Look at this. This is how I get to start Vlogmas day number 21. As you can see, they're out there working on the building. We're gonna have a really cool video for you tomorrow, Lord willing. But this morning, I'm gonna shoot a video with you that I've wanted to do for a while. It's the controls on this John Deere. So why don't we start off by how you get in the cab over here. When you first walk up to a John Deere 5100E, on the outside, you're gonna notice right here, you've got your DEF fluid, you've got your fuel you got a little toolbox over here and then your first control or thing that you put your hand on is this door and it's got a key with a lock and you turn it and lock it or turn it this way <laughs> and you pop it open pull your key out now something with this locking mechanism i've noticed is that sometimes i'll get out of the tractor and i'll slam the door so it closes good the tractor will be running and this locking mechanism will lock. So I'm locked out of the tractor. And I don't know if it's just where I'm turning the key wrong or if it's a malfunction in here somewhere, but do be careful getting in and out of this thing with it running if you don't have a spare key and you close that door. So what I'll do instead is I'll just leave it to you right there. You see, it's not even latched. And that way it keep your heat out or whatever, or keep your heat in or your heat out, I guess. But if you slam it, sometimes it'll lock. So just, just keep that in mind. All right, so you get in and you sit down. And there's your key right there. You turn it over. See so you count down lights right there? All right. That's ready. It'll start without it, but I'm just in the habit of pressing that clutch in right there on your left. This is your clutch. These are your brakes. So we push that clutch in out of habit. It's already counted down. There we go. Now there are some lights on this instrument panel that would come on if it was bad. This one right here, you, if you look back on our fuel filter video, we'll put that card at the top of the screen right here. That comes on whenever you need to immediately shut off the tractor. It's bad, okay? Now, over to the right of that, there's a little exclamation mark right here. That one comes on when you just got an issue. All right. Obviously, you've got your speed right there in the middle, miles per hour. It's right now at 0, 0.0. Below that is your hour meter. Now, to the right of it, you've got the top red and blue indicator right here. Red, blue, that's your fuel. Here's your temperature right here, okay? And right here, this is your death. Your death fluid that we showed you outside. Left side, you've got your RPMs over here. On your instrument panel, you got right here a blinker. See that? Another blinker. You've got your lights right here. There's some caution lights. See the caution lights on? And front and rear, everything. Okay? Now that's peculiar. In the video, though, that, that park over here on this side right there, and this is flashing, but my human eyes are not detecting that in person. That's, that's strange. Okay, but anyways, you got your lights on, and look right here. You can pull back and flash your lights, or you can push down. And this is... Uh, that is not flashing in real life. That's crazy. Wow, 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 wow. 
Okay. They're constant in real life. It's just picking them up that way with this iPhone. But th that's how you do your bright lights. Now, the next thing is you have got this gear indicator right here. Now, you can do this a couple ways. You got to take it out of gear over here, and I might as well show you that. You've got park, which is all the way to the right, up, over, and back. And then you've got neutral, first, second, up to neutral, over, third, and fourth, okay? And then right here, you've got A, B, and C. C is road gear, B is chore gear, and A is super slow. I usually keep it in B. It's in B right now. Sometimes I'll put it in A and if I'm on the road, I'll put it in C. But it's in B right now for what we're doing this morning. We're gonna feed a little hay. So most of the time I keep it in third. Go ahead and put it there. And now for your selector up here, you really don't have to use the clutch, is my understanding. I always do, force a habit. And all you do is you pull it back, push it up. And I, if you look right there, it says F. Any guesses for what that means? It's forward, okay? Conversely, you pull it back, and it's an R for reverse. And then whatever your gear in, and then whatever gear you're in over here, and range, you'll go that fast. Okay, so your next deal is you've got this clear button. If you've got a code that comes up or if you have checked your codes and want to refresh them, again, you can look in that, that video and I'll show you, I showed you how to do that. It's up here in this card in the top again. All right, and then right here, you can do uh, death burn offs and uh, I haven't done one of those yet, so we'll save that for another video. But you can see all the the uh, indicators on there, and my my guess is that that will be to to burn it off, to stop burning it off. And right here in the middle, is it'll do it when it wants to. All right. Now, over here, this is your joystick for your front end loader. We do have a front end loader ordered, and. We're just waiting for it to come in. They've got it at a different tri-green store and they're gonna ship it over to us. We bought it and some other little goodies. We'll do a video on that later. But right here on the side, this is where your third function would be. Now your third function would be like a grapple or maybe a bell accumulator or something like that that you need to have more than just up with the, the, the arms and and bucket, you know, you need that third function in your hydraulics. And what you can do is you can just do an upgrade and get a hose run through your um, your front end loader. So that is pretty cool if you need it. Now the thing about those is they add a bunch of extra money. Whenever we ordered our front end loader, it was so much that I thought, you know what, I'll just save up and get a skid steer at some point. And, and we're, we're just not gonna get a third function for this tractor. Might be for y'all, it's not for me. Okay, now back over here on the side, you have got your throttle, listen here. Okay, that's your throttle. And for chores, you know what I leave it in? All the way down. Just barely running, maybe maybe right there. This is your four wheel drive. On, off. This selector right here. That's for your lift arms in the back. I'm gonna push it up. See how everything's going down back there? Now I'm gonna push it down. And it raises it back up. This little selector, you see it moves right there in the slot? You can stop this. If you don't wanna go above or below a certain height, you just 
twist it like that to lock it in place. I'll leave it up here out of the way because I want to go all the way up. This next selector over here, that looks to be your draft control right there. And right here, these are for your hydraulics in the back. You know, if you got a rake or something or a tether and you want to flap, flap it up or flap it down, you're in and you're out. One and two valves. And then you got a, a slot over here to the right of it for a third one. Okay, now come on back here. This is your PTO. Turn it on. PTO is running the back. We don't have anything hooked up right now. Okay. And this, I don't have this button. I would assume that this is to keep the PTO running when you're not in the seat. I don't exactly know on that one. It looks like there's options up here for some more stuff. It looks like there's something right there that's maybe in an M model. This is an E. Up here you've got a Bluetooth radio. This is your best friend whenever you're doing chores in the tractor all day long. And on here you can just hit mode. And you can see it goes to radio, USB, auxiliary. But what you want to do is you want to Bluetooth up there. And you want to listen to the Farm for Profit podcast or you want to listen to Chris Ledoux or something like that on your iTunes. You can preset all these. I've never done it. If you're down in Alabama, you can still get CDs and put in here. We don't have them up here anymore. We got Bluetooth. Right here is your air conditioning. You've got that. You want that on to be cool. There's your defrost. That's off. I guess it just blows. Now, something about these that I want to show you that was tricky to me and I couldn't figure it out for a day or two because I was just not really looking at it. But the cool turns counterclockwise and the heat turns clockwise. So you gotta be careful not to have them both on at the same time. Like right there, it looks like the cool and the heat are on full blast because that's the way it is in most any other uh, vehicle. But if you really look at it, that's not how it is. Cool actually goes down like the temperature and heat actually goes up like the temperature. Of course, you've got your different fans right there. All right, you've got one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six of the air conditioning vents. And under the sixth one, you've got a dome light right there. I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is. Okay, maybe speakers. No, looks like air exhaust or something. You got a dome light right there anyways. All your safety labels right here on your side. You can read those at your own convenience. These pop back, open up like that right there. Now, what else am I missing? Oh, oh, look down here. For you getting in and getting out, you got that, raises your steering wheel up. Getting out is your reverse over here. You're gonna take this lever, you're not gonna push it. You put your thumb right there and pop it open. Whenever you close this door, don't close it like that or listen. See, it's not really closed. Slam this boy. It's closed now. Now on this side over here, you've got all your fuses under there. You can see you've got your diagram and then in the back you've got this lever right here and this takes you from 540 to 540e pto what that means is when the engine is idled down that that you can still run the pto so you can save fuel economy if you're doing something you know uh stationary and you just want to run the the pto but don't need a lot of power to it on this other side, you've got this uh, lever right here, which I can't find in the manual. It makes me think that since there's a rabbit, a lift arm, and a turtle, that you can increase or decrease the speed in which your arms in the back come up. Don't know that one for sure. Down here on the floor, you can hit on this and it'll give you a little bit more uh, throttle 
with split throttle. The only thing we haven't viewed yet is the windshield wiper, which is right here. You get all the different speeds. And I don't know if I'm just out or... No, I can hear it going. Okay. I just must be out of windshield wiper fluid, but you can press down right there and I can hear something going on. So I guess we need to check that windshield wiper fluid. Thank you for hanging out with us. I hope you enjoyed this basic explanation of all the controls on the John Deere 5100E series. If you like this kind of stuff, come back. We're going to be doing more of it. We've got this front end loader that we're going to put on. We've got some uh, other little attachments, and I think those will be some cool videos. So make sure and hit that subscribe button. Merry Christmas. God bless you. See you here tomorrow.